And joining us this morning is Anthony Sabuda, the Vice President of ISI. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, there were so many places the President could have chose to come and visit. Um, were you guys honored that he chose your uh, your we, business? We were uh, privileged and honored. It was it was just a thrill, a thrill of a lifetime. Um, you got a chance to talk with him. Um, what did you guys talk about uh, specifically? Obviously, he's here well, to promote jobs. Well, yeah, and you know what we talked to him about was our facility and, and the kind of facility that we had, uh, what we do. Mm -hmm. um, we're a contract manufacturer, so we, we have a whole wide range of uh, various uh, services we provide. So we took him through our, our metal fabrication shop and, and showed him, and, and that's what you've got up on the, on the screen yeah. now. Um, we walked him through there. This is our um, the manager of that uh, department, Jim Chalupka, and, um, and then we, we showed him some parts that we ran in that department uh, in the metal fab area. We also have a CNC machining area that we, we walked him through and, and, and showed him, an electronic assembly area. Here, he, he's, Jim's explaining, Jim's a tool and die maker by trade mm -hmm. and has been part of some of the growth that we, our company's experienced. Um, we then walked over into our, and this is, in this area, we had a lot of fun. This is our uh, uh, hand assembly area. We make a lot of kind of uh, very interesting, quirky items in this area, science kits for kids mm -hmm. uh, that go into science projects. Uh, there's a there's a hovercraft that's gotten a lot of attention. That uh, there was a, a piece here where he he had a New York Times reporter on the hovercraft and spun her spun her around. And uh, in addition to that, we had a bottle rocket launcher that uh, we, had, we had a lot of wow, fun you with. You guys do yeah. a little bit. Of, your business has definitely evolved throughout the years. What kind of a lasting effect uh, do you think the president's visit will have? You know, in the coming days and years. Well, I think you know the, the the big thing is why did he pick Buffalo and why did he come here? So in the bigger picture, I think it really speaks well to the fact that you know Buffalo has been suffering economically, and the fact that he chose Buffalo, New York, to, to stop in and, and take you know time out of his busy day. That's the New York Times reporter uh, Cheryl Scholberg, I believe her name is. He kind of cajoled her to come in, to, to get onto the, the uh, hovercraft, and she had a heck of a time. It was it was. I mean, he was just such a genuine down to earth guy. Uh, at this point here, we're, this is the bottle rocket launcher where we're gonna we're gonna fire these bottle rockets, and uh, the, all the media was like right in our face. Actually, it was just prior to that, right. and uh, we got everybody off to the side, and we kind of uh, you know fired the, the the bottles up over their heads. So it's kind of interesting, but uh, he, you know just. In, in uh, a nutshell, it was just great that he came out to Buffalo. And, and the one thing, it would have been great because there were so many people that wanted to see him. Mm -hmm. I just feel so uh, lucky. I mean, that yeah. he came to our facility and I spent so much time with him. That's right. Well, you, you guys have been doing some great work there, and that's probably why he showed up. Thanks anyway. for joining us this morning. Thanks Anthony for having Samuda. me. All right.